watches today, smartwatches, tell us more than just the time. They've got a number of different uh, sensors embedded that allow us to monitor our health. Uh, one of those sensors are light sensors that are be be um, behind the watch and that allow to detect the heart rate, an irregular heart rate. So the device that was tested in this uh, study uh, was a smartwatch that allowed to detect irregular heart rate based on these signals and that also had an app uh, that was able to notify the patient in case he had an irregular heart rate. Now this device has been cleared in the US for use in subjects above 22 years of age and also who are not known for atrial fibrillation. I think it's also important to stress that this device does not replace standard uh, techniques for diagnosing arrhythmias. It's really a screening device and it does not replace a doctor's visit. Well, does it work? Uh, what we do know from this study is uh, that uh, it's safe to use. And uh, what we do not know is the sensitivity. That's to say, how many patients have an arrhythmia that is not detected by this device? What we do know is that if the device gives an alert, a notification, uh, and that the patient is, or the subject is wearing an ECG patch, that the positive predictive value is 84%. That means that if the notification is positive, then um, about one to two in 10 subjects will have a false positive. They will be told that there's an arrhythmia, and in fact there is no arrhythmia. So the potential benefits of this uh, system are, first of all, that if we're able to screen for atrial fibrillation, then we may uh, start a therapy, anticoagulants, that may prevent that subject from having stroke. Now the downside of the risks of this are that if uh, the subject actually has an arrhythmia that's not detected by the device, well he may be falsely reassured. Or conversely, if there's a notification and no arrhythmia, well, then he may be anxious for nothing. And that will, of course, lead to anxiety, to an increase in cost, and so forth. So before it's really used in clinical practice, I think that this study is very important. It's a first step, but that this will lead and pave the way to future studies to see how this type of technology is really going to help our patients in their health management.